Stored at 320 degrees below freezing, the medicine in these vials is being tested for a worst case scenario. Inside each one is a dose of experimental PLXR18, a drug being developed for a nuclear catastrophe. PLX cells. It's designed to help the body recover after exposure to radiation in the case of nuclear fallout or worse. Now the Department of Defense is testing this medicine to see if it can be administered before service members are exposed to radiation. The test of what North Korea claimed to be a hydrogen bomb has increased the urgency here. The U.S. Armed Forces probably going to be the first responders in any radiation event. And one of the main goals is to see if we can use the cells to treat the soldier in a prophylactic treatment before actually exposing to radiation and to prevent any radiation damage. Fukushima, site of a 2011 nuclear meltdown, has become an opportunity for Pluristem. A medical university there has partnered with the Israeli company in developing this drug. PLXR18 is made from placenta cells, harvested from placentas that would otherwise be medical waste. Pluristem says their one-size-fits-all dose makes this easy to stockpile and use without pre-screening. Before we step into the lab where they produce the cells, because it's a clean room, we have to put on these sterile suits to make sure we don't alter the environment. Inside the labs, these bioreactors multiply the cells and the possible doses. Radiation attacks the body, partly by destroying bone marrow, which produces critical blood cells. This medicine from placenta cells helps the bone marrow rebuild. How many cells go in at the beginning and how many cells come out seven to eight days later? So in this system, this is a 15 liter system, we see about 600 million cells at the beginning. And after about a week, we get about 20 billion cells for one system. 20 billion cells. 20 billion cells. One placenta can make 25,000 doses. How much is enough? That depends on the scale of the nuclear disaster. Orrin Lieberman, CNN, Haifa.